What's up, Packers fans? Aaron Nagler here with your good, bad, and the ugly from the Packers' brutal 34-20 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Sunday afternoon at Lambeau Field. With the good, and there is actually some good to talk about, I'm going to go with Jaden Reed, though I really wanted to put Dontavian Wicks here. Reed is pretty undeniable, though. Six catches, 52 yards, and a touchdown. Phenomenal touchdown reception on a great ball from Jordan Love. Reed ends the day one reception shy of tying Sterling Sharp's franchise record most receptions in a rookie season. Reed ends with 54 catches on the season. One more, he ties Sharp. Gotta think, there's a good chance he breaks that record in Carolina next week. Like I said, I really wanted to put Wicks in here. Six receptions of his own for 97 yards. A lot of that coming after contact. He's never down on first contact. You absolutely love the fight in this kid. They have got a player in Wicks, no doubt about it. With the bad, I'm going with Devondre Campbell. He is a shell of his former self, and I know he's coming off an injury, but these last couple weeks, they've been pretty brutal for Campbell. With the bad, I'm going with Devondre Campbell. Uh, this is two weeks in a row now. It's been hard to watch, and I know he is coming off an injury, and I don't know if he's still working through those injuries, but he is a shell of the guy who won an All-Pro his first year in Green Bay. Sideline to sideline isn't there. He's mostly late or getting basically manhandled by pulling guards and offensive linemen getting to the second level. Probably a step late in coverage almost routinely. Campbell, another bad day at the office. With the ugly, come on, we all know what it is. It's Joe Barry. When you have Baker Mayfield come to town and post a perfect passer rating, a week after he barely completed 50% of his throws in Atlanta, he got a major problem. It was ugly all day long for the Packers defense outside of some really Nice individual work up front from guys like Kingsley and Igbari, which is that awesome strip sack fumble. Kenny Clark, Devontae Wyatt, TJ Slayton, I thought, had a strong game. But we saw again and again and again the Packers defense get this team behind the sticks and then just give up easy completions in soft zones time after time. Incredibly frustrating, incredibly ugly from Joe Barry, which you have to think this has got to be a major concern for Matt LaFleur here. Maybe not over the course of the next three weeks, but certainly heading into the offseason. There's no way you can sit here and say Joe Barry is the guy to help lead this team to a championship on defense. This is a Matt LaFleur problem much more than it is a Joe Barry problem. We'll see how he responds after an embarrassing performance from his defense against the Bucks. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Who's your good, bad, and the ugly from the Packers' loss to the Buccaneers? And then tell your friends and tell your family. Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide.